Now, your forecast first from KLBK. Well, good evening, everyone. We're watching a storm that is continuing to exit the city of Lubbock, leaving us with a very nice rainbow here in the metro region, but unfortunately did do some damage in portions of downtown Lubbock. Let's go back to link system number one. We are tracking those severe storms that are moving out of the metro region right now. You can see a lot of warnings as well along the South Plains near the Cap Rock over portions of the Rolling Plains and even some more warnings out of the Permian Basin that are starting to make their way into our area. So let's go ahead and pause this radar will show you what's kind of happening for us here in the metro region. We'll zoom in a little bit closer towards the city of Lubbock as we are taking a look at this very strong storm that's going on right here. Uh, I'll get our little zoom product here and we'll pop that up and show you. Uh, this is our active warning we have. This severe thunderstorm warning continuing through 6.30 p.m. This is now east of the airport, east of the East Loop 289. Going to be headed towards Ransom Canyon, Lorenzo, Idaloo next. Heads up, headed your way here in downtown Lubbock, we have had those confirmed reports of at least golf ball size out at Reese Center on the west side of the town near LCU. Tennis ball sized hail. That's about two and a half inches in diameter. So some very large hail uh, going on there with that activity. Tracking some more strong storms off to our east. So you can see this here uh, in portions of Crosby County right now. That's going to go for Dickens County too. We've got this severe thunderstorm morning through 630 tonight. That activity continuing to track to the north and east at about 30 miles per hour. Right is estimating that with this storm we have the possibility of some ping pong ball sized hail moving into the Crosbyton area around 617 tonight. In addition to that, we could be seeing some of those 60 mile per hour wind gusts with that activity as well as it continues to track to the east. Further down to our south, Garza County, those severe warnings have been allowed to expire for you. But back even further southeast, down towards Scurry County and Snyder, that's where they saw numerous power poles snapped as a result of yesterday's severe storms. That warning goes through 615 tonight for some quarter size hail, 60 to 70 mile per hour winds. And it looks like that's moving to the north and east at about 20 miles per hour as well. So that will be exiting our area. But what's happening around the region, folks, is we are beginning to see that cold front move through. And as that cold front continues to move on through the area, storms will come to an end. So for us here in Lubbock, for the most part, our severe weather potential is beginning to dwindle on it down. Real quickly, we'll show you what radar is looking like over the past hour or so, that activity moving east. Cold front now located about right in here, and as it tracks to the south and east, it will continue to push that severe weather out of our area. Matt and Terry, we've got more details in your full forecast coming up in a few more minutes.